let's quickly just discuss some other topics, including the aforementioned Everton, by the way, Mark Ogden. I mean, they really did not look good. It's been uh, horrible. I believe Everton have not won since October 22nd. Uh, in the league, Frank Lampard continues to struggle. It's not just about him, but the Toffees are not looking good. What do you make of them? And, and putting themselves into a conversation of relegation fodder, what do you make of it? Everton is the same old story every six months, isn't it? They, they lurch from you know optimism to crisis quicker than any club I can think of in the Premier League. And the next Premier League game is Southampton, which is going to be massive because you know Southampton looked to me like they cut adrift. And if they can get something against Everton, then Everton are really dragged into it. So... You know, I think Lampard's future is definitely on the line. I think they've got Man United in the FA Cup on Friday, away from home. You don't really see them get anything from that. Now, you could argue that Frank Lampard, is he up to the job? I don't know. He, he's had he's had three jobs in football now, all very much short-term jobs. Derby had a year there, got the Chelsea job too soon. Had a decent year at Chelsea, didn't, didn't sustain, 18 months gone. Everton, Everton's a really, really big club, really big job. And it's, it's going the same way as it always goes in January. They're, they're losing touch with everybody above them. So I can see Lampard being, I can see him being out of a job very quickly. If, you know, if they, if they lose well at, at United on, on Friday, that could be it. And it's a shame, but you have to think of Everton. Everton constantly do this chopping and changing. It's been, it's been Lampard. It's been Benitez. It's been Allardyce. It's been Silva. I mean, Ronald Koeman, Martinez, all these managers in the last few years, it's, it's scary. And they keep repeating the same mistakes. The recruitment has been poor. I think it was better last summer. I think they made good signs with Mark and Connor Cody, but, the quality isn't there. Now, where do you go with this one? I think Lampard needs a big result quickly. Um, I don't see him getting it United. Then if, he, if he's still around for Southampton, he has to win that game. But some of the goals last night, I mean, the Pascal Gross goal was the, the back pass from Idrissi Gage. Absolutely amateurish. And that's what Everton have got at the moment, just mistakes all over the pitch. Yeah, where do you start with that? You're quite right. I mean, six managers in six years since uh, Farhan Mashiri uh, uh, has been the owner of that team. I don't know if another change makes a difference, but, you know, here we are. We were just talking about the difference a good leader uh, uh, makes. I don't know if uh, Lampard is that leader. I really don't. I mean, I've said it even when they had that bounce. They didn't start well, right? And they, they had a little bit of a bounce and we started to actually talk, I remember, a little bit. Maybe Frank Lampard is getting his ar arms around this team and that we see that we don't. But I've yet to identify the way how they play and what they do and what their style is. Are they a good defensive team or do they have pa patterns to attack? And, and I don't see it. And, and you know, I, I, just before the World Cup, remember, I think they were beaten easily by Bournemouth. I, I don't know if Bournemouth has won a game since then. And then you, ha you have 44 days or 45 days to maybe have the chance to train whoever is left, to come up with something to make your team more resilient, uh, uh, even if it's just mentally. And here we are. You'd like to think, I mean, the first game after the World Cup, they lost, right? Can't remember uh, to whom. Then they get a result against Manchester City. You would like to think that you're going to build on that, right? Because you've lost at home before that. You come home and you get embarrassed like this after you have 44 days to find some sort of a way, even if it's just talking with the board, if, even if it's talking to the players that are there. Three goals in five minutes. You've mentioned that goal from, I mean, absolutely embarrassing. And you know what? The young players yesterday got beaten all ends up, really. Mikolenko on one side and Patterson on the other made some mistake. But for the likes of Cody and Tarkowski, I mean, remember, what was Tarkowski trying to do? Stop the ball with his head? It was, it was like <laughs> Phil Jones' situation from I don't know, <laughs> how long ago, right? I, I mean, those are two very, very experienced players. And for the most part, they've been okay, actually. I didn't think they were absolutely terrible. Uh, uh, but, but you need leaders in a game like this at home. So... So, look, I don't think it's just on Frank Lampard. Obviously, there's issues uh, at the board level, and this can continue, but I don't know how Lampard survives this because uh, I just don't think – yesterday I look at that, and it was a total capitulation by his team. And there is an issue – sorry, John. There's, yeah, an issue at Everton, there's an issue at Everton right now in the sense that, obviously, the majority shareholder, Alicia Usmanoff, is, is in the same situation as Roman Abramovich at Chelsea. So, Everton's situation is difficult with the fact that they haven't got the financial strength they had maybe a year, two years ago to, to make changes. They let Richarlison go in the summer. They replaced him with Neil Molpe. That was just a bad bad transfer. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has been injured you know, most of the season, so they've missed him. And, you know, maybe they haven't got the finances to – to get rid of Lampard and bring somebody else in. Maybe they're going to have to stick with Lampard because they can't make change in the transfer market this month, really. And 
if they're going to appoint a manager, who, who are they going to go for? Now, you know, the people that are available, Sean Dyche is available, but I, I don't suppose the Everton fans would take to him because it's Sean Dyche. But Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.